This lesson is texture paste into, and it's very similar to the paste into. It's also similar to the paint assignment. So I want to select this lady's face. So I am going to use the quick selection tool to add to my selection. Nope. Holding Alt to say no thank you to the hair. And then shift adding by holding shift to the face. And if it's not perfect, don't worry because we are gonna be creating a mask. So what we can do is we can refine the edges after with our mask brush. Okay, that's gonna give you an idea of what we're doing here. I can go into the neck if I want. Okay, so with that selected, I'm gonna go get this texture. So I recommend something large image. Make sure you're searching with the large images on Google. I wanna select it all, so which is Command A, and then Copy, Command C. And then I'm going to go Edit, Paste into. So this is gonna give me a totally opaque image, which is not what I want. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna rotate it to better suit my image. And then I am also going to make it a little bit bigger by holding shift. There, that's better. Okay, this looks terrible, I agree. So now what we want to do is we want to change the way that these layers are blending. So right now the layers are blending normally and at 100%. So one of the things we can play with is lowering the opacity, which is fine. Um, the other thing that we can do is change the way that the layers are blending. And this is going to be totally random and you're going to have to experiment. Some of these are going to look amazing and some of these are going to look terrible. I so far like that multiply the best, although this is quite nice as well. So I'm gonna choose this one. So I'm quite happy with it, but my mask was a little too hard when I did it. So what I'm going to do is make sure I click on my mask. I'm going to go get my white paintbrush to continue working with my mask. And I'm going to get a nice soft brush with a nice low opacity. What I'm going to do is paint and blend that line, that hard selection line away so that the overall look is more natural and it looks, although fake and photoshopped, it looks more believable. So I'm just going around all my edges to soften them so that it blends in better with the hairline and that neckline. And looks like it's more appropriate. Now, that said, I can also go and paint with black and take it out of areas. So say I did not want the, the cracked look in her eyes. So I am painting with black. So removing the mask on certain areas to bring the texture away. And again, my opacity is very low so that I don't get harsh, circly lines, but it does mean that it's gonna take you a little bit longer to remove it. But you will get a better and more natural effect. So, there we go. The mask has been removed from her eyes, and you can even see it here in the little thumbnail. And that is texture paste into.